The U.S. has just begun installing artificial intelligence into fully combat-coded F-16s, and the last of these new testbed fighters just arrived at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida to begin its transition as a part of Project Venom. Now, the U.S. has already been flying its heavily modified Block 30 F-16D, known as the X-62 Vista, with artificial intelligence at the stick for a few years now, building upon AI pilots, or agents as they're known, that already demonstrated their ability to dominate virtual dogfights against human pilots and DARPA's Alpha Dogfight Trials held back in 2020. But now, these AI agents are being installed in much more advanced and modern, fully mission-capable F-16s to move into more complex air combat exercises, including more of the one-on-one -on -one dogfights the X-62 has already been flying, but also new two-on-two -two bouts that will allow these AI agents to gain valuable experience coordinating with one another to defeat their human adversaries. Now, Project Venom, which is short for Viper Experimentation and Next-Gen Operations Model, does require some physical modifications to these jets, including a new auto-throttle to give the AI control over the nearly 30,000 pounds of thrust produced by the F-16's turbofan engine, as well as a handful of other new instruments and components developed specifically to convert standard F-16s into full AI automatons. Now, this transition to combat-coded F-16s is a really big deal because it not only offers the Air Force the chance to learn how to convert standard fighters into AI-piloted combat drones, but it will also give the AI agents a lot more data to pull from, including a far more advanced active electronically scanned array radar and a whole lot more. Now, by April of 2024, the AI agents being trained to fly these fighter jets had already flown through 21 increasingly complex real-life air combat exercises, with rapid adjustments made to the autonomy software between each, resulting in more than 100,000 logged changes to the code in the span of just 12 months. And the AI agent in control of the X-62 started by learning defensive maneuvers before eventually moving on to offensive ones and finally offensive high aspect nose-to-nose -nose engagements against other fighters with real human pilots on board. During these dogfights, the AI-piloted X-62 and its human-piloted F-16 opposition reportedly closed to within just 2,000 feet of one another at speeds in excess of Mach 1.5, all while staying within the confines of the exercise's safety parameters. And by May of 2024, just a month later, former Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall, who even flew in the X-62 while it was under AI control, revealed that the jet and its AI pilot were already, quote, roughly equal in dogfighting skill to highly experienced Air Force test pilots with two or even 3,000 hours logged in the aircraft. Of course, dogfighting isn't all this AI is being trained to do, but dogfighting is among the most complex tasks a tactical aircraft might undertake, making it a pretty decent measure of how quickly these systems are maturing. But the AI isn't just maturing when it's in the air. Instead, these AI agents continue to run through mission scenarios thousands of times between flights, applying slight variations to its decision-making in each to assess and learn from different simulated outcomes. Now, the long-term goal of this effort isn't to field a fleet of AI-piloted F-16s, though... That might be a concept worth exploring at some point. And instead, these AI agents are learning how to handle complex air combat operations to take control of the new fighter drones, known as collaborative combat aircraft that are currently in development to fly alongside upgraded Block 4 F-35s and, of course, America's new F-47 stealth fighter in the years to come. Now, the first increment of these air-to-air -air drones are already in testing and have been given the world's first drone fighter designations, General Atomic's YFQ-42A, which will be the FQ-42 in service, and Andoril's YFQ-44A, which will be the FQ-44 when it reaches service. 
Now, AI agents are also expected to be installed in new fighters, like the aforementioned F-47, to serve as something of an advanced autopilot. Now, in pictures released by the Air Force, we can also see three more F-16s being modified to add this new AI hardware. And in past press releases, the Air Force said they'll field six of these jets initially for testing. Now, right now, we don't know when the world's first combat-coded F-16 flown by artificial intelligence will actually take to the sky, but evidence is mounting that it's all but certain to happen in the very near future, if not later this year, certainly sometime in 2026.